Today, while in Marrakech, Raila Amolo Odinga revealed another secret that his association with Dr. William Samoy Ruto had the blessing of the former president of the Republic of Kenya, that is Doc, uh, Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta. Now, before we start dissecting into that, I would like you also to listen to this. When Raila Amolo Odinga was telling uh, people within that, uh, the people who had attended, that there are some people who have been calling him, requesting for job opportunities, and their, as, their assumption is that Raila Amolo Odinga is now in government, and he can give them job opportunities. Sasa bahati barika yangu wanakuja kwangu wati ni watafutie kazi. Pumbavu sana. Kama mimi ndio wananisambua Ruto wanatusambua namna gani? Now that was just a by the way and the reason I wanted you to watch that is to see the perception among people. Majority of people believe that Raila Amolo Odinga is in government. Now in this video today I want us to see why Raila Amolo Odinga said that Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta is the one who called him and told him to go and help uh, Ruto to save the country. Sasa ile inchi na chomeka uhuru ni alinipiga mimi simu. Uhuru kaniambia mimi tafuta bwana Ruto ongea na yeye. But before we start looking into that critically, I'm requesting all those who are new to our channel to take a moment and just hit the subscribe button so that I can continue creating a bigger family of the Socrates TV. Now, welcome back to the Socrato TV. At the Socrato TV, we explore, discuss, and discover the hidden stories shaping our political landscape. And we'll go direct to the video when Raila Amolo Odinga brought in uh, Uhuru Migai Kenyatta. Uhuru Kenyatta, Mimi, Tafuta Banaru Tongana, eh? Kenya Kichomeka, and Takuna in Chingini. Paka hii tuzime hii moto watu waketi chini waendelee waliwani William ndiye akanitafuta na mimi nikaongea na yeye wazi kabisa mimi unijua mambo yangu mimi sifichagi mambo nasema direct magazeti magazeti hawa nadika si yini ni Raila na Ruto handshake hakuna handshake hakuna handshake kale tulisema mimi niliongea na Ruto nikamwambia Shida iko hapo. From the sentiments of Raila Amolo Odinga, it is clear that he is trying to orchestrate or create a narrative that their unity was necessary and it has the blessings of the whole of the political class. And from what I can understand from what he's trying to say is that it was very necessary for them uh, uh, to really come together, that is Ruto and him, Raila Amolo Odinga, with the blessing of Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta, so as to stabilize uh, the country. I am not sure if you agree with that or if you disagree with that, but we will continue or we will cover that as we go on. But we need to understand this. What was the protest about? And how did Raila Amolo Odinga and Ruto solve it? Did they re resolve the issues that the protests were all about? Because as much as I have been in Kenya and as I have been listening the concerns or the issues that were being raised by the younger generations, it was about poor governance. And poor governance, they were very, uh, they were very, very specific. And they said they wanted the people to follow the constitution because majority of leaders in this country are not adhering to the constitution. Secondly, they also wanted the leaders who are given or appointed into their position should be competent. And it was not really, competence was not really evidence in the 
even in the current regime as it is, I, am, I have not seen a lot of change. So in the regime that is headed by Dr. William Samuel, the competence is not uh, really evident and people cannot feel it. Eh? The other thing they wanted is they wanted accountability. They wanted leaders to be accountable of their actions. They wanted leaders to be accountable of the resources that they have been given or the resources that has been uh, allocated within their dockets of work. Has that really been solved? And I am yet to really g uh, get why Raila Molodinga and whoever they are, why they are calling the protest a crisis that was uh, leading a country into a downfall. I am yet really to get it. Maybe from your perspective, do you think that it was a crisis that was burning the country that really needed uh, some kind of... Uh, culmination of all uh, the political leaders from the former president, the current president, and the former prime minister, who is also the uh, the opposition leader, okay? As per, although our constitution does not envision that, but we can call him uh, the opposition leader of uh, the, in the Republic of Kenya. Now, from my own perspective, I think Maybe Raila is being very economical with the truth in the sense that, for me, I think Raila Molodinga sat down and evaluated how this protest will have affected him and the political class in general. To start with him, Raila Molodinga has ambition to become the African Union chairperson. And becoming an African Union chairperson, you need some help from your government. Okay, although I have heard some people arguing that you do not really need the endorsement of your country, you can be proposed by another country, for instance, you can be proposed by Uganda, but it may not really create a good picture. In fact, it is it is really awkward not to be proposed by your own your country. So, and even apart from being proposed, there are some resources that your own country can give you, the government. For instance, you have seen uh, Ruto giving uh, some ministries including the Ministry of Foreign Affairs some resources to go and campaign for Raila Molo Odinga. So there's some value that comes with your country supporting, supporting or endorsing your AUC candidate. So Raila Molo Odinga evaluated and so for him to really clinch to that seat which was which is his goal currently then he needed to side with the government. So anybody who will have been against the government Raila Molo Odinga will have also been against that person. And it's one of the reasons why he decided to use his political influence to uh, try and bring some kind of peace. Eh? Although I, I see it as a short form uh, kind of uh, strategy to solve the problem. The second thing now cuts across the whole political class. You know, these Gen Z's or the younger generation were very clear and they were even saying they want to do away with all readers. They wanted to do away with all all leaders. This was including even Uhuru Kenyatta. Okay? Therefore, if this radical change will have been experienced or will have been really given birth to, then it will not have it will not only have affected Ruto, the president, but it will have affected all the political class. All the political class will have suffered. Because the political class as is currently constituted is in one way or another the beneficiaries of the impunity that has been happening in Kenya. So I think in their wisdom, if indeed what Raila Molodinga is saying, they saw these people are coming very fast and furious. We need to really protect our territories. We need to protect our wealth, wealth that they have gotten in ways that are not very clear. So what do we do? Let us gang up as the political class and prevent this revolution or this uprising from happening. And that may explain why Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta may be part or parcel of uh, this kind of, um, how do I, they call it, broad-based government. And uh, I also see as a way of bringing back the Azimiola Umoja uh, into place. Remember, Azimiola Umoja was falling away. And the main person who was guiding Azimiola Umoja the chairman of Azimiola Umoja is Uhuru Migai Kanyata. The party lead, the party, the coalition leader is Raila Molodinga. So uh, the people within the Azimiola Umoja had already started parting ways with uh, Raila Molodinga, citing the fact that he was now coming into government, and it would not have made a lot of sense for him to be still in government 
while at the same time he is having another uh, what do you call another leg in opposition okay so uh, they have even people like Eugene Wamalua, Kaloyo Mtio, and even Mata Karo is going. So I think they, it's a, also a way of trying to salvage the, the coalition of Azimiola Umoja. But the question will be, is what Traila Molo Odinga saying, are these things in the interest of Kenyans, the majority of Kenyans, or are they only in the interest of the few political class who control resources and power in the country. You know, that's a question that we need to ask ourselves and deliberate with ourselves, within ourselves. Is him coming together with Ruto and Uhuru in the interest of Kenya? If it was, in, if he was in the interest of Kenya, why would he not have sided with Kenyans? You know, those are some of the questions that we need to ask ourselves. Why, if he he was is arguing that the country was burning down, why would he not have gone together with uh, together and supported Kenyans because the country was not burning. I don't believe so. The country was in a process of metamorphosizing into a new country, a country that we have always dreamt of. So if there is change, of course, uh, people who have been controlling resources and a lot of things will feel startled. They will feel uh, uh, like there is something that is not good may happen to them. So they may use all the powers, all the resources they have to ensure that that change does not happen, even if it means dubbing that change as burning of the country. So for me, I don't really buy into that, that idea because as much as I've studied the Gen Z's and even uh, the Gen Z's are still calling out things that they were calling out even during the protests when you see, go on social media. So as, as much as I have had and understood the Genesis, I do not think they were burning the country. Because even the first demonstrations that they had was very peaceful. In fact, it was one of, one of the most lauded uh, demonstrations that has ever happened in Kenya. The one that happened before the 25th. For, forget about the one that happened on 25th when they were, uh, they were occupying parliament. The one that happened, the first one, it was the most peaceful demonstration that had. So how can you ban a country with such kind of demonstrations? So for me, I, don't, I, find, I find it really difficult to believe uh, that indeed uh, it was about salvaging the country. It was, for me, I think it's about the personal interest that these political leaders have. But with the time, we will be able to know if indeed this, the comments that are coming from Raila Odinga are really but strategic moves to try and maintain his influence and power or is it really in the interest of uh, Kenyans and whether indeed uh, if Uhuru Migai Kenyatta called him and told him to have some kind of rapport and some kind of relationship with Uhuru, with Ruto if that was really a desperate move that he made indeed to celebrate the country or was he also making a strategic move to ensure that his interest within the country is protected. I don't know what you think about this. Please feel free to show opinion at the comment box so that we can continue with this kind of conversation. Remember, at the Socrato TV, we emphasize that you need to stay curious, stay critical, and stay thoughtful. Until we meet again, bye-bye.